welcome back everybody now first off sorry about the long delay in getting my videos uploaded uh, there's been some developments uh, as you can see now I'm no longer in my studio uh, it's a long story but I'm now set up again and I'm able to record more content on the plus side I'm going to be aiming at recording on a daily basis so you can have videos every day yay so anyway uh, the video that was, came up before this one was the last video I recorded in my studio and now it's going to be in the new location from here on out sorry about the acoustics in this place at the moment I'm still trying my best to get it sorted out in regards to getting rid of the echo so for the time being until I've got it sorted it's gonna have to do anyway let us crack on with the game let's get going so when you was last here we clinched the title and this episode is going to be the transfer special and end of season review so I'll advance it to the end of the season review and I shall be right back and here we go the end of season review of the 2022 season so let's have a look the new arrivals we've got Remy Mitchell uh, 19 year old goalkeeper I think he was our first choice it's been that long since I played it I've kind of forgot most of it uh, you have to bear with us Pervez he was a good loan signing for us took him from my old club uh, Danny Hilton, he's just there as backup. He managed to bang eight goals in for us, which is not too bad. Uh, so yeah, some decent plays there. Some decent ones, but like I said, it's been that long since I've actually managed to record a video. I kind of forgot where I was at, but going forward, that's all going to change. Right, season to remember. It was a season of unlikely and jubilant success for the bees who consistently defied the odds from the outset and were eventually crowned champions. Yes, we were. We had a good run in quite a... Only one point in it, like, between the top three. It's not too bad. The board expects us to finish mid-table, and we smashed it. Josh Walker, competition top scorer, with 20 goals. Not too bad. Uh, we reached the first round, as the board requested. You know, it's not too bad. Uh, they wanted us to reach the fourth round of the FA Trophy, but we only reached the third round. I'm not too not too bothered about that because it's not really a, an important competition, if I might add. Right, moments to remember. The biggest win was a 5-1 away victory against Stockport County. That was nice with Walker getting a brace in that one. Uh, the match to remember was the 4-0 uh, victory against Boreham Wood. Uh, and that was another good one and the goal of the season was against Torquay and it was Bud shall we have a look at it let's have a look at Bud's goal and see if it is a really true contender for goal of the season uh, there we go let's have a look probably was because Bud is pretty good at smashing them in from distance so let's have a look here we go Pike now Penfold Fans Bud, Bud smashes it, oh look at that, top corner, postage stamp, what a goal, truly deserved award for goal of the season there by Bud, well done, and he's on loan as well, we might have to try and get him in permanently, but we're going to have to see what we can do actually, because we've not really got any money, as you'll see now, right, finances, no new sponsorship deals this year, which is a shame, because uh, we do really need to get some money coming in. Uh, sponsorship is down from last season. Not, no, not really. Uh, broadcast is up from last season. Uh, corporate and hospitality shot up as well. And the competition prize money is shot up, obviously, because we won the league. And the match day commercial and retail has jumped up as well. So we've sold 609 shirts with Walker being the number one seller see how we lined up our team of the season 
Uh, the best 11, it would be Mitchell in goal, Edabar, Nugent, Kranthov and Pike in defence. Edabar, he wants to leave. He wants to leave this season, so we're going to have to let him go. We've got Tompkins and Penfold just above them, uh, with Chesters and Purvis supporting Walker and Young up front. See, Young, he scored 14 goals for us, and Walker banged in 24. Purvez in double figures as well with 13 and 11 assists. I think I'm going to try and get Purvez either on loan again or try and get him on a full time deal because he's from Bradford Park Avenue. They're still in uh, the Vanarama North. We're now in League Two, so I'm pretty sure we can get him in. See how well he does. Right, so the awards. I won the Manager of the Month for October and the Manager of the Month for November as well. Not too bad. No Manager of the Season award, uh, which I wasn't really expecting it to be honest, even though I should have won it because I won't leave. Uh, fans Player of the Season is Josh Walker. Cranthorff is the Young Player of the Season, which is a pretty solid choice there because he's done well for us this season from what I remember. Uh, signing of the season, Remy Mitchell, the 19-year-old goalkeeper. I have to agree, he was an absolute star from what I remember. Uh, obviously, we've already seen the goal of the season. Top goal scorer, Josh Walker, like we just said, 24 goals. And he's also having the most assists as well. So he's 11 assists, not too bad. And he's also got the most man of the matches and the highest rating. He is a good player. Let's see if he can continue this form into League 2. And we shall see. Um, highest, uh, most passes completed per 90 minutes. Jack Tompkins at 34. He could have done a bit better. Record breakers, here we go. Most overall goals by a player in a season. Josh Walker with 24. Most goals by a player in a match. Again, Walker, two. Uh, most, assist, most assists by a player in a season. Pervez at 11. Not too bad bad if I do say so myself and let me just yeah just checking making sure my the right screen is on and history in the making your hard work and effort paid off on the pitch and such a feat didn't go unrewarded at our end of season reward party Barnet dared to dream and thanks to a great one way back at the start of the season their promotion dreams came true look at that Promoted. We still don't know who's coming up with us yet because the playoffs have not been played. But going down, FC Halifax, the team I was going to go for not that long back, if you remember. I think I made a good choice, don't you think? Okay, uh, just a bit of an update. I have extended Purvis's loan, so we've got him for another season. Uh, his contract is due to expire at the end of the season as well. So if he performs well in this in this league then we may just bring him back permanently. Um, but he's good to come in. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I've offered some new contracts to some of the players. Uh, let's have a look at the transfers. Edabar, he's in discussions with Fleetwood. Uh, we're only going to get a small chunk of money for him, but it's fine. We've got Callum Hume. We've made a loan offer for him again at Bradford Park Avenue. I brought him in before I came to Barnet. <clears throat> so hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll take a step up and they're the ones that are joining. Uh, we can look at them when they get here. So, I shall be back with another little update momentarily. Okay, well, the transfer window is now officially open. So we can start getting players in properly and finding out where we need to strengthen up. So, uh, like I mentioned, Ed Bar, he has left. The fans aren't happy about it, uh, but he wanted to go. And I'm not going to stand in his way. He's gone up to Fleetwood, who are in League One, which is. Uh, did they get relegated, actually? No, they're still in League One, so he'll be playing League One football next season against teams like. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, stages, let's have a look at the table. Uh, Oxford, Wickham and Blackburn Rovers. Those are who we will be up against next season. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, the 
four players that I mentioned was coming in. We've got Elliot Conte, 18-year-old uh, promising winger. Uh, he is four-star current ability, five-star potential. He can play on the attacking midfield left position, so he's probably going to slot straight into the squad. Uh, we've got James Greenwood, another 18-year-old midfielder. Uh, he is three-star current ability, five-star potential. Uh, again, if he doesn't fit into the squad, then we can sell him on. Bit of money coming in. Uh, we've got Matt Young Coombs, another 18 year old winger. Uh, he's two and a half star current ability, five star potential. He could possibly break through. Um, we can wait and see. And we've got Jackson Dealey, an 18 year old striker who is three star current ability, five star potential. Now he does look pretty good. Um, I won't do the squad numbers yet because I still have to sort out the squad. And we've got Alfie Whittingham as well coming in, uh, so which is good. And the 1st of July, we've got a couple, couple of transfers coming in at 1st of July as well, but we'll get to them when it comes to it. So if we look at the team report and squad depth, we got some places to increase. Uh, Pervez, he's extended his contract for another season, like I said. Uh, so has Joe Budd. He's extended himself as well. Uh, we are probably going to have to look at defender left. Um, quite possibly. I can't remember who's going at the end of this season. Uh, because, in fact, we'll, we'll look at that when we get to it. So I'll have a little look around, <clears throat> see if we can get anyone in left back. And I'll be right back. And there it is. We claim the Manager of the Year award for the Vanarama National League. We beat Tommy Miller and Lee Sinnott of Walking and Filed, respectively. I'm happy with that. I didn't think I'd win it, but, you know, I won. Sweet. Anyway, excuse me. So far on the transfer front, it's been going a little bit slow. Um, where... Yeah, you saw them ones. There's nothing really coming in as of now. I've got some contracts out there, some offers made. They're getting rejected and stuff. But we can try. This guy here is going to look promising. Look at the stats on him. Hopefully we can get him. I've got him on trial. But we'll keep digging. We'll keep digging and see if we come out on top. Okay, we have the fixtures <coughs> released for the season. Our opening day game is against Accrington Stanley at the Wham Stadium. Not bad. Our first rivals clash of the season is on the 2nd of September against Stevenage. Oldham away on Boxing Day. <coughs> Again, rivals clash on the 30th of December. And we finish the season at home against Burton Albion. That is not too shabby, if I do say so myself. So we are looking pretty good for fixtures there. Let's have a look at the schedule. So yeah, we've got a couple of decent run-ins there. FA Cup's going to be in there. Carabao Cup is going to be, the draw is going to be soon for that. So we'll, uh, we'll find out together who we get. That's good. Fantastic, right, uh, transfer front again, there is nothing really of note, uh, that's now changed, it's still the same as it was, I'm a bit gutted about losing Zozo, but what can you do, uh, yeah, let's have a look at this, uh, the striker that I just told you about, that Cernak, he's uh, not wanting to play ball, so... I'm going to hopefully, hopefully get him in. We'll see. Well, we'll find out momentarily, won't we? One second, guys. Okay, we've got three more signings joining the club. Uh, Milton Bolduin, 18-year-old centre-back. He is three and a half star current ability, five star potential. So he should be pretty decent for us. Um, Tom Bradbury, a 25-year-old centre-back. He is two and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential. Um, he'll do as backup 
if we need him because like I said we got rid of um, Edibar so we, I think it was Edibar so yeah we, we mainly he's back up he'll sit on bench for a while and we've got Alfie Whittingham a 24 year old midfielder he's a 3 star potential uh, 3 star current sorry 4 star potential again he may do a job for us if not we will have money coming back in if and when we sell them on and we shall do the numbers not yet we'll do them shortly um oh and he's off on loan out right so nothing else really much uh, i'm going to check the released players because it's like the first of july now so they might get someone decent on there so i'll go and check them out and i shall be right back okay as promised this Carabao Cup first round draw. We'll do this together. Right, so there is 70 teams. So let's do it one by one. Middlesbrough, Oldham, Rotherham, Hull. In fact, we'll do an automatic draw. It starts there. Bolton. Bolton will be good. Nope. Swansea. Yeah, it'll be good away tie. No. Cammy. Winnable. No, they got Barnsley. Mansfield, Wimbledon. I want someone easy so we can at least get to the next round. I know you don't get a lot of money for progressing in this tournament, but playing against a championship team, especially a championship team that was in the Premier League last season, that will bring us in some pretty pennies. But one can only hope, oh, that would have been a good one. Lincoln, Peterborough, that would be all right. Ipswich, the Rovers, eh. Come on. Huddersfield, no, I don't want them. Sweet. Accrington, yeah, that's winnable. Yeah, for Wednesday, not bad. Newcastle, definitely, I want that one. Oh, gutted. That would have been good to have Newcastle in the first round. But was it meant to be? You'd be that would have been a good one. Linden, Millwall. Exeter, it's winnable. Sutton. Oh yeah, Sutton were the other team that came up with me last season. I thought I'd tell you. Right, Luton, that's Portsmouth. Derby. Yeah. Blackburn. Ooh. Oxford. Yeovil. Oh, we're getting close to the end here. South End is winnable. South End it is. Right. I don't want to right, draw all teams. South End is winnable. I'm happy with that. When is that taking place again? On the 15th of August. We're all in frenzies. frenzies. Friendlies I've got in. I'm trying to get a bit of money coming in because it's not looking good. Over half a million in debt. We need more spensies. Okay, it's becoming a very, very, very slow transfer window. I've not really, I've got quite a lot of people out on loan. Which is good. Uh, the only other newcomer is Gunnar Hadarsson. Uh, he's two and a half star current ability, five star potential. He's wanted already. Uh, he may be good. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I can't see anything else happening because this guy's going out on loan as well if he accepts the contract. Um, I, like I said, I can't see anything. Any improvements that I can make that I actually want to come because every single person I've gone for has gone somewhere else. Um, this Kyle Haid, he's on trial. He looks promising. Uh, we'll see two, his three-star current ability, five-star potential. Uh, we'll see what he's like between now and the end of his trial. Uh, other than that, it's good. So, on that note... I think I'm going to leave it there and then, then the next episode will be um, what will it be oh yeah the first two games of the season which will be Accrington Stanley and somebody else I'm not 100% sure I'll have a look Exeter Accrington Stanley and Exeter that's who it's going to be in the next episode so again this is all new again. I've got to sort out the lighting situation in here. Because at the moment I've got one there and one there. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it like that. I might move it somewhere else yet. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try and sort out the audio as well um, because it's very echoey in here. Very echoey indeed. Um, so yeah, I'll sort that out. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and get uploaded every single day as well. So, oh, I nearly forgot. Let me just get rid of this and bring in this. There we go. Oh, wrong way. That is now correct. Sweet. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. And I shall see you all in the next episode. See you later.